<laughs> We're looking for $1.1 billion, 306 projects throughout South Sudan to address issues of food security, health, education, water and sanitation, mine action and lots of other things working hand in hand with, with the government. This appeal takes bold new approach to delivering humanitarian assistance. Uh, that is, for the first time, it places resilience and national institutions at the forefront of aid work uh, to help create a South Sudan which is better able to care for its citizens in times of crisis. We have 12 million people, of which about 3.1 People, of course, need that assistance. This is a slight reduction from the target of 3.3 million people this time last year. Now, it includes helping 2.8 million people get access to clean water and proper sanitation, and providing food and livelihood support for some 2.3 million people. The aid will especially target the most vulnerable areas and communities, including the northern states,